know, the problem with being impulsive sometimes is that you just don't ever know where you're going to end up. And today I figured, you know what? Let's go to the Everglades and see if we can catch a peacock bass. <laughs> Let's go. All right, y'all. Roadside canal fishing. This is the first time. This should be interesting. Let's see what I find. Well, this first little stretch of canal didn't uh, didn't pay off. We're gonna keep going down. This is a long road and a long canal. Let's see what else we can find. No. Um, I've been here about five minutes. I've already seen a ton of stuff here. Yeah, I went to the next three and I was like, I'm gonna turn around and start here. I don't know, the, I went down to the one where the other big canal cuts into it. I thought that might look juicy, but I figured I'd start here. Seen a bunch of gar, man, I'm really after a peacock bass. I saw a lot of gar at, uh, down by the reserve, you know, where it was like no fishing. You yeah. Know, just have a bunch of there. Well, that was kind of cool. We had a visitor stop by and see if we could just watch us try to catch something. We didn't catch anything yet. There's a ton of gar in here. Like every 10 feet, there's seven or eight gar. It's it's just a gar fest. Maybe I'm not in a good bass spot. I'm gonna keep walking this canal though and just uh, see. I mean, it's full of life, full of life. There's literally every every inch is covered by either minnows, turtles, gar, or something. All kinds of cichlids and bluegills. I just need me a bass, a peacock bass. Damn, something bit me on their arm right when I got a bite. What was it? Ooh. Ooh. Another Mayan. Little Mayan cichlid. Well, they do have a little bit of teeth action, don't they? Check him out. What a beaut. Cool fish. Terrible release. <laughs> awesome. All right, fish number one in the canal. So I, lo I lost the uh, square bill, square billy, in a tree, and I don't have any more crankbaits except for this random lipless rattle trap that I got in my bag. So I'm gonna throw that around for a little bit because I have a feeling that these fish really wanna, they wanna chase something. Now, how many times am I gonna lasso a friggin' bait around a tree? Well, that bait literally lasted about two minutes. Don't you dare. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't you do that again, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. that was almost disastrous, man. Okay, well, gar on the bank. Oh, glide bait <laughs> lured him in. Oh, man. All right. There we go. What do we got? Oh, I think we side hooked a gar. All right. Let's get him undone. I don't want to lose this glide bait. All 
Well, first first slimy gar <laughs> caught sideways. See you, buddy. Oh, really? He good. Things you shouldn't do. Wash your hands in the Everglades next to a canal. <laughs> Mark that down to the quickest hand washing you'll ever see. Well, we got a little friend at this spot. What's up, buddy? Where's your mama? There goes my glide bait. Here we go. Well, our GoPro battery died, but we caught this little guy. I think they are uh, Mayan cichlids. It's a smaller version of the one I caught earlier, which was probably about four times the size. Pretty neat. Interrupted his lunch. Ooh, buddy. I don't know what went after that, but it was not a gill. What is that? Whatever it is, it's big. And it's feisty. I can't. I think, is that a. I don't think it's a bass. He is hiding in those lily pads, whatever he is. There he is. No way, no way, no way, it was a pick up pass. Dude, what? Oh my God. Dude, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Oh, my very first peacock bass. Oh man, I knew something was trying to attack in that friggin' thing. I'm so glad I stuck with it. Wow. And he is feisty first peacock bass. Yes, let's go. All right, I'm going to get him back. All right, thank you, Mr. Peacock. <laughs> Y'all, I can't tell you how freaking pumped I am to get on my very first peacock bass. That's the whole reason I drove down to the freaking Everglades. Come on. I am so pumped. I am so pumped right now. Oh, let's get some more. What did I do? Did I step on that getting the peacock bass? Bro, no. Oh, well, I certainly didn't break that getting him. I had to have stepped on that in my excitement. Crap. Well, we're gonna we're gonna cut this off and fish with a shorty pole. <laughs> There we go. Little Mayan. It's funny, I was throwing these gigantic baits and as soon as I put on something just small, all the fish started biting. Whoa. There he goes. And uh, 
Thank you, Mr. John Dalton from Creek Fishing Adventures. This one little jig that you gave me, I don't know, I just put it on just randomly. And uh, it got me my first peacock bass. I did what you told me and tried to throw the, uh... oh, yes. What did I get? What is this? Yo, what is that? All right, he got teeth, yo. All right, he's got teeth. I don't want to mess with them too bad, but man, I have no idea what that is. Nice. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, I did what John told me and I threw a, uh, a jerk bait around a bit. And uh, I was like, you know what? I see a bunch of these little cichlids. I'm gonna target some. And as soon as I did that, uh, peacock bass decided to come out and just smoke that little grub. There we go. I think that's an Oscar maybe? I don't know. Nice. Another one of those things with wild, wild teeth. Look at his teeth. Definitely ain't sticking my finger in there. Look at him. I'm gonna, he's gonna jump, so. Look at that. go oh man another one of those wild toothed freaking creatures do not take my grub what are those teeth like yeah they they're pretty sharp they are pretty sharp pretty slick looking fish though some sort of cichlid you can tell by like the fins pretty colors pretty pattern There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do you know? We actually got a largemouth. I rigged it up wacky. Slowed it down a bit. Nice. <laughs> Boy, what about that day? Listen, I got to do the thing I drove here all this way, drove these two hours to do, and that was to catch a peacock bass. I only caught one, that's all I needed. Uh, really, catching that makes this whole trip complete uh, for, for fishing. It's just, oh man, I have had a peacock bass on my bucket list for so freaking long. And now, now I can say I got one and that is just awesome. So many more fish I wanna knock out that bucket list. So many awesome northern fish from where I'm from, like musky and uh, perch. I've never caught a freaking perch. And you know, all kinds of cool stuff. But man, it is just something else because there's only a, a certain range, you know, of, of water that you can go to to find peacock bass. You can't just find them anywhere like you can most fish. Um, I wonder if, if 
being a southern angler, if catching like a smallmouth is like that for them. I don't know. Maybe it is because there's no smallmouth in like southern Florida. It's just they're just not around. But man, whoo, I'm bumped. Anyway, let's go to the next spot. <laughs> 